KFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Japan on the eleventh uh, day of September, and our thoughts, of course, to those people that involved in 9/11, the sadness, the tragedy. Uh, the Dow is up 50 points at 34,625. Got into the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. Got repelled. You got the nine period moving under the 14 period moving average. That just says weakness is there. We're watching this weekly chart to see on Friday what happens. Where does it close? I haven't yet got even a sell signal on the on the Dow uh, weekly but definitely a sell mode in, in the daily chart. Same thing in the S&P. Look, the S&P uh, traded up nicely today, 44.90. Now it's trading at 44.70, up 14. Uh, kind of struggling, but that nine period moving average did flip positive. So that is still in a sell mode technically, but uh, that weekly chart is still holding very well. QQQ, it's the same thing there. QQQ holding well, up $1.50 at 374. Uh, got repelled at that, uh, moving that downtrend line, the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. That we've got a falling axe formation in the weekly chart, but it hasn't been able to break above it. So the technicals are still very strong there, but they're weaker, weaker in the daily. The IWM, the Russell 2000, struggling away, up 94 cents and 184 glued to the 200 period moving average. Gold, talking about glue. Gold trying its best to move up, and now it's come back from the high of the day of 1954. It's at 1944 right now. It should be moving much higher because of the dollar, but in fact, it's the trends. The tide for gold still remains down. The tide for the dollar, even though it's down 40, uh, 62 ticks at 104.47, having a bit of a digestive phase, the tide is still up, and you're looking at the TLT, and that's bonds. Uh, the bonds are at down over a half a point, 119. Ah, oh, they just don't look very good at all. So the TNX, which is the yield, the 10-year yield, is trading up uh, 36 at 42.94. That's 4.294 percent up in the higher range. And crude oil now, this is going to be very interesting because crude oil is down four ticks at 87.48, starting to bump into some resistance. But there's no other way I can count it. This is either a leg B or I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it looks like a leg B unless there's an, an unconventional flat base restart in that instant restart back in August. I don't want to talk about that now. I'll talk about it on my show tomorrow, the Tiger Technicians Hour at 10 o'clock. So as as we stand right now, Dow's up 46. If by by the end, by after 2 o'clock, if after 2 o'clock the Dow's up 65 points or more, that's quite good. If it's negative, not good at all. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out my open call, my daily news editor. See you tomorrow.